I'm learning how to do play bagpipes, and one of the things I problems I'm running into is that as I travel with my chanter, which is a practice bagpipe, they kind of bang together, and I'm worried about them being, getting damaged as we go back and forth from our, our lessons. So I thought what I'd do is go ahead and try to make a bag for these that was nice and soft to where they won't, won't bang around. And it'll keep our reeds in good condition. So we came up with something that was 17 inches or 43 centimeters roughly. For a short chanter, it's 14 and a half inches or 36 centimeters roughly. The width is going to be the same, which is 7 inches, or just over 17 centimeters. So that was our template. We went ahead and just cut that out of a, a hoodie, and we came up with this. Now, to sew this up, what we're going to do is, is we're going to actually fold it over, then fold it in half, and then run a string through there to, to tie it close. But in order to do that, we've got to do it essentially in a, three steps. One, we'll roll this over to give a nice finished edge. Fold this back, sew that up, so that way that's nice and finished. So fold this over this way, and then we'll make the pockets to hold the chanter. So let's get started. Okay, now what we're going to do is just fold this in half, like so, and then sew it across the top. That way we've got an area to string our lanyard through to tighten it up. So now we have our lanyard, and if it can, I'd love to just have, be able to have it drop all the way through. But if not, we'll go ahead and we'll force it through using a clothes hanger that we've unwound. Should be able to grab it. and push it right on through, like that. Now it's done. So now that we have that through, and it's just for ease. When it's, you can do it this way, but then you have this bend that you have to worry about. And I, you know, might as well set herself up for success. So let's go ahead and we'll do it now. And then when we fold this over, I'm going to fold this and we're just going to put a stitch all the way through the bottom just to make sure that we're still okay with our length. We are. Okay, so what we're going to do now actually is we're not going to fold over. We're actually going to fold it inside out starting at the top so all the way down to here and we'll go back and then flip it inside out and then we'll cut, we'll sew our pocket.
Nike bag now, and they'd be okay. But what I think I'd like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and sew right down the middle, starting from about an inch down. That way I can get in and grab everything and make an individual pocket for each one and then I'll sew across the bottom here to create so that that one doesn't sink all the way to the edge. So, it, so when I go in to grab them, it'll always be right there. And just to make sure it works for both of them because we have two different ones. Well, let's, let's make it here. It's gonna be right there. So that's, that's, we'll do it with the short one. These actually go together. That's for the long chanter. This is for a short chanter. So we'll go to there. We should be good. We'll double check it just to make sure. We'll come from the middle. Try to go. Slide that on one side. Slide this on the other. It's pretty good. And it tightens up nicely. So now we have something that we can help protect our chanter with. When we're in transport, even if they kind of vibrate, bang together a little bit, they're not gonna be chipping anything. And we can put our reed inside. If we flip it upside down and the reed's not gonna get damaged. So we've got a really nice, easy way to carry something that doesn't look too terribly bad, but more importantly, protects. All right, well, so we're done. And to keep from having to tie a knot in it every time to keep it closed, what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little quick stopper that you can purchase almost anywhere at any sewing store. And I want about that much hanging out, so we'll put it in. Make sure we got it on the right side here. Put it through. And all this does is you pinch it. There's a spring in there that helps bind that down. keep from having to do a knot. Push this one through. Like so. When I'm happy with the length, I'll go ahead and tie a knot here. That will, it's a, will be a permanent knot. pretty and then we'll cut that off and we have a finished bag